Hi beautiful people, I am Shahan Lai. Welcome back to my channel and in this video I will be talking about a very mysterious brain syndrome. So what is this mysterious brain syndrome? Basically this is a disorder or a syndrome that is recently found in Canada. So what is this? Let us learn about this uh, brain syndrome. So whatever we have uh, learned all is through research so let us uh, proceed in this video basically this is mbs that is mysterious brain syndrome why it is called mbs mysterious brain syndrome because the all the causes what is the pathophysiology how it is caused the cause is unknown the cause of this disease is unknown no one knows it how the disease is caused what is the pathophysiology how this disease is progressing no one knows that who is causing which virus which bacteria no one knows studies are going on so that is why it is mysterious brain syndrome mysterious brain syndrome it is affecting the brain and this can be found in Canada in a particular province known as New Brunswick Brunswick province New Brunswick province this is a particular province in Canada and this uh, in this province this disease is prevailing so we can understand that New Brunswick province is a province in Canada in which this disease is seen basically what happened how we came to know about this disease the public the public health agency the public health agency of canada what did they did so they actually published a memo they published a memo that is they published a notice in which they asked the doctors about a particular they asked the doctor about a particular disease where they mentioned is it Kruzfeld Jacob disease is it CJD they had asked in the memo so they asked in the memo they asked in the notice to the doctors that is it Kruzfeld Jacob disease is it Kruzfeld Jacob disease so from that memo from that notice people came to know about this public health agency they don't want to disclose this disease but because of that notice because of that memo we came to know about this disease so what is happening actually basically before that let me tell you about cjd do you know about cjd cjd is kruijfeld kruijfeld Jacob Jacob disease so Kruijfeld Jacob disease so what is this Kruijfeld Jacob disease and why the public health agency of uh, Canada was asking about this disease basically they were asking about the MBAs they were asking about the mysterious brain syndrome they thought that this is Kruijfeld Jacob disease this is CJD so that's why they were asking they want to inquire that is it uh, CJD is it Kruijfeld Jacob disease or any other disease they want to know it from the doctors so that is why they were asking so basically what happens in Kruijfeld Jacob disease it is a kind of rare disease in uh, Kruijfeld Jacob disease is a kind of rare disease and we can find the symptoms of dementia basically this is just like the alzheimer's disease dementia occurs and what happens basically in Kruijfeld jacob disease this is actually caused by prions and what does the prions do in Kruijfeld jacob disease the prions they actually change the folding they change they change or alter they change or alter folding folding of proteins folding of proteins so they change or alter the foldings of different proteins and you know the proteins have different roles in our body so when the 
um, when the alteration of the folding uh, of the proteins occur when the when there is a change in the folding of the protein occurs then the particular function is lost and that is why the patients in Crutchfield Jacob disease what do uh, what what do they get they actually get dementia they get dementia and other features which is very prominent in Crutchfield Jacob uh, disease are similar to that of Alzheimer's disease. So basically what happens in Crutchfeld Jacob disease basically patient also sees uh, hallucination they also find hallucination and um, uh, other things. So basically what happens why does a Crutchfeld Jacob disease occurs? Let us learn about this first. So why does Crutchfeld Jacob disease occur? occurs basically in Crutchfield Jacob disease it occurs due to infected tissue so when you encounter any kind of infected tissue then you may get Crutchfield Jacob disease so if someone's um, if someone's eat any contaminated eat any contaminated contaminated meat product so if you are taking contaminated meat from that it you may get infection uh, other thing is transplantation so if you are having any transplant which is infected then also you can get this disease so liver transplant or any other transplanted tissue in your body you are taking which is infected you may get that or if you are eating any kind of contaminated food contaminated uh, meat specifically you may get this disease so that is Crutchfeld Jacob disease and particularly this Crutchfeld Jacob disease were basically found in uh, cows it was found in cows and another thing which uh, uh, we need to know is the Kuru, the related disease of this Crutchfeld Jacob disease is Kuru disease you know Kuru disease Kuru disease is similar disease which is also caused by prions due to particular um, why this this disease Kuru disease occurs due to a particular race uh, a race of people a race of people who actually eat dead uh, who actually eat the dead brain so they actually eat brain of the human beings they eat the brain of the human being why do these people eat the brain of the human being dead brain basically this is their ritual this is their custom and that is why they uh, they take uh, uh, brain of the dead person and that is why they get this disease of prions which is known as Kuru disease which is related to this Crutchfeld Jacob disease so another disease which is caused by prions so similar kind of uh, disease you can understand this so basically why I told you about all these things about the Crutchfeld Jacob disease because the public health agency of Canada was asking about the mysterious brain syndrome the mysterious brain syndrome is it related with Crutchfeld Jacob disease they were asking is it the same disease or the different disease because this is not same disease the Crutchfeld Jacob disease and the mysterious brain syndrome has differences and that is why the health agency the public health agency of Canada asks the question is it Crutchfeld Jacob disease they don't know about it and that's why I have discussed about Crutchfeld Jacob disease what is this disease how it is caused and basically uh, let us discuss about the uh, mysterious brain syndrome so what is this mysterious brain syndrome what uh, what are the information that is known till now so basically what happens in basic uh, in mysterious brain syndrome is uh, 48 people what is reported is 48 cases now it has been tracked so 48 cases has been tracked among them six people died six people died and is it affecting both male and female yes both male and females are equally affected both male and females are equally affected another is it is found in between age group of 18 to 85 18 to 85 18 to 85 years so this is the age group which is attacked 
so basically this is not the not a new disease uh, the mysterious brain syndrome is not a new disease why i am telling this because according to the research in 2015 the first case of uh, of mysterious brain syndrome happened next in 2019 this became 11 case in 2020 it became 24 case and in 2021 it becomes 48 case so you can understand how this disease is progressing basically it is doubling you can see if it, if i consider it 12 case then 12 24 then again 24 into 2 48 so in this way it is doubling so the the, the case are increasing in a double rate so we need to be concerned about this and that is why the people of um, of the canada province particular province new brunswick province they are very concerned about this so what is the symptom what is happening let us uh, dis uh, dis discuss about that what are the symptoms that are particularly these people are suffering from these people are suffering from memory loss basically which is also known as dementia you know dementia memory loss that persons those people who are having this mysterious brain syndrome their syndrome they cannot remember properly so memory loss Another thing is hallucination and basically these hallucinations are, um, are frightening. It is a, a, a kind of ghost or something like that. They are having some frightening hallucination. Another thing is muscle atrophy. Another thing is muscle atrophy. They are having muscle atrophy. So these three are important things which are, they are suffering. Basically, what is the cause? The cause is still unknown and scientists are trying to research on it. What has been uh, found out that in the starting of this disease, when the disease is starting, patient get some unexplained, unexplained pain. Basically, patients started getting pain. What happens in the beginning of the disease, I am telling you. So, when the disease is just starting, the patient gains a pain, gets some behavioral uh, changes uh, and behavior changes and the patient also gets some anxiety issue. The patient also gets some depression. So, anxiety, depression, behavioral changes and also pains and sometimes spasms are also found. So, basically, a, a doctor thinks that uh, whenever these things happens like unexplained pains, like behavior changes, anxiety, depression, spasm, then what will the doctor think uh, uh, when the patient comes in the starting? So, if the starting in the starting of the disease if the patient comes to the doctor the doctor thinks that this is a case of anxiety this is a case of depression but actually it is not why because after 18 to 36 months after 18 to 36 months when this disease actually progresses then you can find different kind of signs like cognitive decline which is very very important you know cognitive what is cognitive means cognition means thinking ability the person's thinking ability the person's intelligence the person's person's intelligence the person's judgment all this comes under cognitive uh, function so cognitive decline occurs next thing which occurs now after 18 to 36 uh, month is the muscle wasting muscle are wasted another is drooling so you can find out that saliva is coming out from his mouth another is teeth chattering so creating a sound by the teeth with the help of the teeth so that is the teeth chatting chattering so all these things cognitive decline muscle wasting drooling and teeth chattering these things are started happening so the most important thing which uh, which now started is uh, is frightening hallucination which i told you already this is very very important 
frightening hallucination the patient are having hallucination of dead bodies the patients are having hallucination of dead bodies uh, the patients are having hallucination of the dead persons of the dead persons and also dead relatives and all these persons and as if they are now present by their side and uh, they are also having the hallucinations of the graveyard so graveyard grave so all these things that is coming in um, inside their head and they can actually see the dead bodies walking around them moving around them talking to them the dead relatives their dead friends their dead lover all these things they are moving around so it is frightening hallucination which is very very important of this mysterious brain syndrome and that has created more mystery and that is why the name itself says that th that is why the name is there mysterious brain syndrome why it is mysterious basically because of this frightening hallucination another thing which i will tell you is insects crawling the persons also complain of insects crawling on their skin insects crawling on their skin this is also the person can feel that the insects are moving inside their skin crawling inside their skin running inside their skin they are just going here and there so it creates a kind of irritation anxiety depression in the person's mood and the person's mood changes so all these things are going on basically the neurologist when you go to the neurologist what will the neurologist do basically the neurologist uh, they actually actually cannot understand how to solve this problem because there is no specific treatment for this so the uh, so they will just relieve the they will uh, they will just relieve the symptom so only symptomatic treatment will be done uh, will be done by a neurologist when you go with these kinds of symptoms because proper treatment is till now not known so basically what does the uh, what is the researcher doing the all the researchers uh, the researcher contains the group of doctors the group of uh, scientists and other students and other uh, from other background all they actually come together to form the researcher team and all these uh, they are trying to find the link they are trying to find the link from where does this kind of mysterious brain syndrome is coming basically they want to find the link from the environment they want to know if this is a environmental disease from which place of the environment this is coming sometimes the they also uh, wants to research from water like any water source uh, is there or it may come from any plant source or it may come from any insect source or it may come from any animal source we don't know about it it may be viral it may be bacterial it may be plant source it may be animal source it may be environmental so scientists are doing research on that so pr uh, till now proper uh, explanation is not known but they are trying to make uh, research on this so if there are any further research uh, if any results of further research come i will make uh, more videos on this and i will explain it properly there so this is the end of this video if you like this video make a thumbs up and subscribe our channel for getting many more videos like this and if you find this video useful please share this uh, channel with all your friends and basically your medical friends uh, all the medical so that all the medicals can get help and if you like this video write a comment down below thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye bye